Pamela Anderson is considered one, as is Marilyn Monroe or Megan Fox, all of these women are called sex symbols and are adored by millions. But did you know that this term was used for the first time in 1911? Sex symbols are not a new invention, and they existed long before social media, Victoria's Secret, and others. Previously, it was religious or mythological figures who were considered ideals of beauty, such as the mythical Helen of Troy or the goddess Venus, but the film industry changed all of that. Film made it possible to spread the image of an attractive person particularly quickly, and so the Danish actress Astra Nielsen was considered one of the very first sex symbols ever in the 1910s and 1920s. Actress Theta Bara was also named a sex symbol starting in 1915. In the film A Fool There Was, she played an ice-cold temptress who destroyed the lives of the men who fell for her. It caused quite a stir at the time. Betty Blythe was also considered a real sex symbol and followed the steps of Theta Bera as an actress at Fox Film. With her more revealing roles, she turned the audience's head many times over. One of her best-known films is The Queen of Sheba from 1921, of which only fragments have survived today. A swimmer was also one of the first sex symbols ever. Annette Kellerman was Australian swimmer who later traded in her sports career for acting. Her life was even made into a film in 1952. In the film Million Dollar Mermaid, Esther Williams slipped into the role of Annette Kellerman. Dancer and actor Rudolph Valentino was one of the first male sex symbols. With his film The Sheik, he managed to achieve great success in the 1920s. Over time, Hollywood spawned even more sex symbols. Jean Harlow was certainly one of them. In the 30s, she was one of the most successful actresses in Hollywood. She went down in history with her film Hell's Angels and her classic line, Would you be shocked if I put on something more comfortable? Actress Mae West was also considered particularly attractive and represented the epitome of the femme fatale. She lived out her sexuality not only in her roles, but publicly as well. Even in interviews, she caused many to blush with innumerable sexual innuendos, but that never harmed her career. Today, she is considered one of the greatest movie stars of all time. The male counterpart to female sex symbols is usually referred to as a heartthrob, womanizer, or heartbreaker. James Dean, Elvis Presley, or Marlon Brando are some of the best-known heartthrobs. In addition to other Hollywood icons such as Marilyn Monroe, it was later the pinup girls who gained popularity through revealing images. These days, it's often supermodels who are considered today's sex symbols. Giselle Bündchen, Heidi Klum, and Emily Ratajkowski are at the top of our list. People magazine has named the sexiest man alive 35 times. Every year, the magazine decides which male celebrity has the most sex appeal. Who still remembers the early winners in the 80s? We'll take a look at a list of all the previous winners. Mel Gibson started it in 1985. The actor drove women crazy as the lead character in the Mad Max trilogy. He was succeeded by Mark Harmon, who was just emerging as Dr. Robert Caldwell in the doctor show St. Elsewhere, where he made a name for himself internationally. In 1987, the title went to actor Harry Hamlin, who at the time was playing Michael Cusack in L.A. Law. The following year, John F. Kennedy Jr. was voted Sexiest Man Alive, an early exception to the list who until 2012 have all been actors. The first Briton in the line of super hotties was James Bond legend Sean Connery. At 59 years old, he is the oldest winner to this day. 
The 90s started with another hot action star. Tom Cruise won the title four years after his breakthrough role in Top Gun. He was followed by a heartthrob from another genre. Patrick Swayze was the sexiest man alive four years after Dirty Dancing premiered. In 1992, Nick Nolte was honored with the recognition, and Richard Gere also received the first of his two titles that following year. 1994 had no winner. A good 20 years later, however, it was retrospectively decided to give it to Keanu Reeves. In 95, it was Brad Pitt's turn. His second title came at the turn of the millennium. The other winners of the 90s are Denzel Washington, George Clooney and Indiana Jones himself, Harrison Ford. In 2001, another James Bond was recognized. No movie fan could avoid Pierce Brosnan's sex appeal in those years. He was followed by Ben Affleck and then in 2003, Johnny Depp won it, who was later voted the hottest hottie for his second time in 2009. In 2004, another handsome Brit won the award, Jude Law. The following year, it was Matthew McConaughey's turn before George Clooney won his second title. Matt Damon, aka Jason Bourne, had his sex appeal recognized in 2007. Wolverine star Hugh Jackman then brought the win to Australia for the first time. In 2010, women absolutely raved about Canadian actor Ryan Reynolds and... The following year, The Hangover star Bradley Cooper was number one. 2012 was the year of Magic Mike and Channing Tatum, who wrapped women around his fingers with his striptease like no other. The following year, People magazine decided on a singer for the first time. Maroon 5 frontman Adam Levine was deemed hotter than any movie star. In 2014, the godly sex appeal of Thor, aka Chris Hemsworth, was unbeatable. Then it was time to pay homage to the first ever soccer star, as David Beckham was named the sexiest man alive in 2015. 2016 belonged to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And the following year, country singer Blake Shelton received the coveted award. Next up in 2018 was the irresistible charm of British actor Idris Elba. And in 2019, the award went to John Legend and back into the music industry. The winner of 2020, and thus the last one on the list, is actor Michael B. Jordan. We're excited to see which celebrity men will have the special honor of being voted Sexiest Man Alive in the coming years.